Hi everyone. So today is the last day of January 2024, and I am on commercial drive and going to one of my favorite cafes, the Prado Cafe. And it's not too busy in here today. First of all, from my backpack, I'm getting out my gooseneck tripod and my etcher sketchbook, A4 size. And I'm pretty close to the end of the sketchbook already. Wow. Now I am getting out my、uh, little pouch of pens. And the pouch, or actually a makeup bag of brushes and the paint. So the ink I'm using, as you can see, this little box over here,、um, is the Noodlers brown number forty-one. And here is my、uh, Sailor's Few Day fountain pen with a forty-five degree bent nib. And here is my watercolor palette. It's very small, containing about twelve colors. The Mongjo brand. And for the watercolor painting process, I use two water brushes from Holbein. The one with the orange cap is the large tip. The other one is the medium tip. And of course, I will need a rag to clean my brush tip. All right. So before enjoying my cup of latte and a vegan fiesta wrap, I'm gonna sketch the two people、uh, chatting in front of me. I think they might leave any time. So first of all, I wanna just、uh, pretend that I'm sketching my coffee and not them. The couple is super close to me, just the next table, one step away. So now I just、um, finished the contour outline of the cup and the saucer, and now enjoying doing the contour outline of the latte art, which is upside down this time. So most latte art had a sense of symmetry. So the left and right side is very much the same shape, and then drawing the swirls. Okay, now I'm ready to draw the contour outline of the vegan fiesta wrap. So the first half and the other half. So it's basically a rectangular prism shape,、uh, cut sideways.、Uh, these gives the sense of three dimension for the two halves. Now I'm ready to draw、uh, the girl. Yeah, so she has a really nice ponytail, and、uh, she's wearing glasses.、Um, yeah, for privacy reasons, I cannot take a Russian photo of this couple. So when drawing humans, I like to、uh, start drawing the hairstyle first. And for this particular one, I divide it into、uh, different sections of the hair. So starting with the bang, and then the ponytail area and the loose strands of hair on the back of the head, and then I move on to drawing the nose and the mouth,、uh, the eyeglasses and the ear. Now I'm just finishing drawing the bottom. Strands of hair and then her shoulders. She's moving all the time. So this is like a profile view of her face, but kind of a back view of her body. So now just、uh, pretending that I'm sketching the filling of my vegan wrap. Lots of chickpeas and spinach and corn and the grill mark on the surface. Okay, now coming back to her again, using my pouch to kind of cover my drawing a little bit because they're so close. Yeah, adding some more texture for her hair.、Uh, her glasses is actually dark brimmed. All right, and now drawing the organic shapes that I see on her sweater. And these shapes kind of echo with the、uh, with that latte art on the bottom, which is really cool. Okay, so this is very much the、uh, half body portrait of this、uh, lady, finishing her elbow and the edge of the table. A little bit more detail for her bang, and then starting to draw these、uh, glasses of water for her and her friend, and then just finishing off her her mouth area. She was chatting constantly, and then the grill mark for this、uh, other half of the vegan wrap, a leftover piece of banana bread or something there, on the table edge on the left. So these days,、um, it's a rain season in Vancouver from November all the way until early March. So it's really、uh, challenging to find interesting landscapes and urban sketches to do out there. And it's also very cold in winter to sit out there. So I'm finding a lot of inspirations at cafes, practicing my people sketching skills by drawing them bigger compared to、uh, the way that I do years before, because I want to capture more of the personalities of these people. Uh, now, as you can see, I'm starting with the、uh, shape of the hair of the man, and the ear, the forehead, the nose, adding the eyebrow and the eye. Okay, so now I'm still pretending to sketch my food, 
and that seems like they are not noticing that I'm sketching them. Uh, the mouth and the chin, the back of the neck. So this guy is actually moving all the time, super active while he was chatting. Okay, so a lot of movement around the chin and the neck area. This is the collar of his jacket. Yeah, so I'm still pretending that I'm sketching my food in front of them. Um, okay, and um, I'm actually super shy to let people know that I'm actually sketching them. Uh, drawing this one arm here, holding on to uh, his glass of water. So basically, I'm just glancing uh, at these people uh, one or two seconds at a time, pretending I'm actually looking at something else and not them, and then use my memory to get these lines done. So yeah, so I'm just always pretending that I'm actually uh, looking and sketching something else. Uh, yeah, until right now, they still haven't noticed. Just drawing the brim of the plate, holding the wraps. Okay, and just adding uh, this bits of salad dressing as drizzles on the side of the dish and a little bit of uh, white sauce for the wrap. Okay, and I'm just trying to get his hand done. I was making a lot of uh, hand gestures as well as, as he was talking and the buttons on his jacket. Final polish for this guy. All right, so that's a pretty spontaneous uh, 15 minute drawing of my food and this couple chatting in front of me. So now I'm quickly painting my uh, cup of latte and vegan fiesta wrap. So I started with a base color of yellow ochre, now doing wet on wet orange, brown, and darker sepia surrounding the uh, liquid line there, close to the brim of the cup. Um, mixing a little bit royal purple into the brown for some uh, kidney beans colors, and also some orange brown. So the, uh, the wrap is actually of spinach colored tortilla. Yeah, so the first layer for the tortilla is diluted lime green with a little bit of um, yellow ochre. Shade uh, the side or the thickness of the tortilla with lime green and a little bit of burnt sienna. As you can see, I get a darker shade of uh, green using leftover burnt sienna for the grilled marks and then some more intense sepia in between uh, the veggies. And now it's time to paint the little saucer, which is a really light uh, green turquoise color. Starting with a light value of green turquoise and then shade the, uh, the left side of the cup with a mix of cobalt blue and a bit of royal purple, dilute it. And just shade the left and right side of the saucer, the shadow from the cup, um, using some leftover bluish gray. And final polish. Oh yeah, before that I want to finish um, painting the plate holding the uh, tortilla wraps. So first of all, grabbing some um, diluted burnt sienna for the drizzles of salad dressing, and then using the, the few hair on the brush tip. Uh, this is a mix of cobalt and cerulean blue. This is the design of the dish, full of swirling thin lines. So just capturing the, the, the rhythm of the flow of the lines on the dish and then intensify the drizzles of dressing, and that's it. Now it's time to enjoy my latte. My latte got kind of cold, but the wrap is still warm. Okay, so after enjoying my vegan fiesta wrap and most of the coffee, I'm ready to uh, go back to my line works again and then painting watercolors. And I'm uh, starting to drizzle out outside and it's actually pretty cold in the cafe, so I just really want to get things done as fast as I can and then uh, just simplify these old buildings outside the window, starting with this lamp post and some window frames in front of me behind the couple. Yeah, as you can see, I just drew these vertical lines very loosely of the window and door frames. And then on the other side of the entrance, uh, there are actually more customers on their computers working very intently. So I just drawing this lady over here and just getting the, uh, the side view of her laptop done, which is really a foreshortened rectangles and the keypad area. Add a bit of details for her hair, the table and the leg of the table. And there's actually another man, the head is smaller because he's even f further away. Tabletop, he's also working on his laptop computer. 
All right, and there's a little bunch there close to the other window there. Uh, drawing this uh, pipe on the wall, another uh, pipe over here looking a little rusted. And now I'm ready to draw this uh, brick window frame right behind the guy and then the, uh, the panels on the wall, pretty old fashioned. The panels divided into these blocks of rectangles. Yeah, keeping the shapes really loose and kind of disconnected from these people to create a sense of free flow and movement. Now I'm just drawing this uh, black lamp post, the lamp hood, right out there on the side of the street. And then these banners displaying the uh, location of this area. Uh, it's called Little Italy around this part of Commercial Drive and just using solid brown ink to color in the lamp post. And then simplifying these buildings on the other side of the street with blocks of rectangles and traffic light with a bending neck of the post. And there's actually no stress at all when I'm drawing these buildings. They're supposed to be looking pretty abstract. Uh, lots of rectangles and vertical and horizontal lines, little windows like eyes growing on the buildings. And then I want to add a couple of cars to give a sense of dimension and proportion. That is actually a streetscape. Yeah, so that's my style of drawing cars, pretty quick and loose. And then uh, fitting a little tree there behind the cars, uh, close to the sidewalk, starting with the tree trunk and the major branches, summarizing the twigs. All right, and just adding a few more vertical lines to define the uh, window and door frames, adding a couple uh, pedestrians walking across the street, more display window frames, and that's very much it for the buildings there in the distance. Okay, for the first like five minutes or so, I forgot to record um, on my phone. Anyway, let's continue watching my process. So for the skin colors, I just use a pretty simple recipe of mixing orange and red together. Diluted with a lot of water. Yeah, a little bit more red, maybe a bit of burnt sienna for some slightly darker skin colors or the shades uh, using burnt sienna for most of these hair. Blending in a bit of cobalt blue to get a sepia shade for some of the hair area, painting her sweater really quickly with royal purple and a little bit of uh, magenta. Shade the bottom half of her uh, arm and elbow with a darker purple, just so her body looks more three-dimensional. Um, some yellow ochre mixed with burnt sienna for these tabletops and edges. When I'm painting very much anything, as you can see when I'm painting hair, I'm playing with various kinds of browns, uh, playing with different ratios of burnt sienna and cobalt blue, and also water control. Now this guy is actually wearing a black jacket, but I very rarely use black. I like to mix my own black using cobalt blue, royal purple, and a little bit green, playing with value transitions, because it's a pretty large area for the guy's jacket to make it more interesting, rather than painting a single valued color only. And same for those people there in the, in the distance. Final polish, last bit of grays, and a little bit of colors of red and yellow, and intense shadows under the cars. And here is the look of my finished sketch. It's very quick and spontaneous. So thank you so much for watching everyone. If you like it, please click like and leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. So I update my channel with two to three new videos every week. I will see you again very soon next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.